Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyle Ricker, representing One Half of the Gladiators and representing the Crash Mario Wrestling Podcast, coming to another video review. And today, I'll be reviewing the AEW Unrivaled Series 2, The Natural, Dustin Rhodes. Holy freaking crap, I finally got him. I actually pre-ordered this from Ringside Collectibles way back in August. And it was finally shipped out earlier this week, and it came in the mail literally the very next day. So yeah, it took me a, quite a few months to get this, but I'm glad I finally got it. And it looks fantastic in person. So I will be uh, telling you the differences between this figure and the Dustin figure that was included in the Ringside Collectibles exclusive Blood Brothers 2-pack of Dustin and Cody. Because there is a few differences. It's not just a straight-up repack. And I'll tell you the differences as we go on. But before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at the awesome packaging first. Now, if you saw my other AEW reviews, like Cody, Chris Jericho, and Kenny Omega from Series 1, you know I love this packaging. It looks awesome. Of course, Dustin Rhodes. Picture of Dustin right there. On Arrival Collection from Series 2, number 15. Picture of Dustin there on the side. Number 15, Series 2, AEW. Pretty much the same here on the side. Now, he also does have the letters uh, there, so, this, so, so they're still doing that with the letters on the side. And the back, we have a picture of Dustin there. Where's his signature? Dustin Rose. This is from AEW Dynamite, October 9th, 2019, in Boston, Massachusetts. So this is not from Double or Nothing, like a lot of people thought. Because there's a few differences between that and the other figures in the set from Series 2. we got John Moxley... Hangman Adam Page, MJF, the Lucha Bros, and of course Dustin. Now, they when they put Series 2 up for back order for early January, I did snag up Moxley and MJF. So as soon as that so as soon as the back order early January is shipped out, I will be getting Moxley and MJF. Hangman Page, hopefully I'll get him soon. The Lucha Bros, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I might get those. And of course Dustin we're doing today. So stay tuned for reviews of Moxley and MJF. As soon as they ship out. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging. So let's open up Dustin Rhodes and see how natural this figure actually is. We'll be right back. All right, so here we have the natural Dustin Rhodes open up and have his packaging. And what an awesome figure. I was not expecting to like this figure as much as I do. And I think this figure is actually a hidden gem in the series two. Because with Series 2, everybody talks about Moxley and MJF and Hangman Page and the Lucha Bros, but not that not that many people talk about Dustin. And I think I think this figure should be, because it is an excellent figure. Anyways, just take a look. And right, look at this. This looks awesome. Alright, head scan is pretty much perfect. This looks a lot like Dustin. Excellent detail on the face paint. I like how it's how how only half his face is painted this time. Definitely an upgrade from his gold dust persona. Really cool. Now for the first time ever, we got his tattoos. And of course, the tattoo of his daughter there on his arm. And I love this suit. He does uh, have a tattoo right there on his forearm. Now for the differences between this figure and... The Dustin that came with the Blood Brother, the Blood Brothers two pack. First up is the wrist tape. This one has white wrist tape. The Dustin that was included in the two pack of him and Cody has red wrist tape. And also the major difference is is um is the color scheme. Well, actually the detail on it. What I mean is um. On this one, it looks like there's like scales, almost like a snake skin. As you see, it looks like scales. Whereas on the, um, like all over the place, like on the chest, the legs, and uh, his back as well. Whereas on the one from the Blood Brothers 2-pack, it does not have that. It's just straight up red. It doesn't look like scales or anything. And of course, the Blood Brothers one has blood all over, all over him, and most of his face paint's missing. But aside from that, they're pretty much the same figure. It's just a repaint. So I can see why people want to have both figures, because they're slightly different. So it's not like you're having two of the same figure, even though it's the same mold. It's just a repaint. All 
All right, now on to the big issue. This is pretty much the issue everybody has with this figure, as well as a couple other figures from Series 2, and that is he is too tall. He is way too tall. I mean, yeah, Dustin is a tall dude, but he's not this tall. Like, for comparison, I'll bring in a couple Gold Dust figures. Because obviously he was Gold Dust back in WWE, and I'll show you the comparison. Anyways, here he is with the Elite Series 29 Gold Dust. As you see, he is huge. You can compare to that. And also the Elite Series 36 Gold Dust. So he should be about this size. So he's way too tall. Especially compared to Cody. He's like a giant compared to Cody, and I'll show you that later. All right, first up is articulation. There's definitely a few complaints I have with his articulation on this figure, but I'll get into that. Hey, anyway, his head can rotate 360. Can look down. Can look up as well. Love that hinge joint. Arms fully rotate 360. They can go in and out. Very nice ratcheting joint. Rotate at the bicep. Double jointed elbow, which thank you, Jazz Wars. Love the fact they have the double jointed elbows. So with the wrist and hinge at the wrist as well. Has the upper torso joint, which you can go other place. Slight swivel waist. Legs forward, which is very limited. The legs can not can hardly move. They can go forward about that far, which is very disappointing. And back to the, to the original position. They can go in and out. Rotate the thigh. Mine were really tight when I first took it out of the box, so be very careful. Double joint knee. Awesome ratcheting joint. Swivel the boot. Hinge at the ankle with another ratcheting joint, as well as a pivot. Excellent. Love that. So it's a shame that a, a couple parts of his articulation is very limited. I also forgot to mention, uh, this actually kind of surprised me. I don't know if they stopped doing this in Series 2, but this is the first figure I've seen that doesn't have the plastic wrap around him. Because if you remember from Series 1, most of the figures from Series 1 had like a plastic wrap around them. Like Kenny had a plastic wrap around him, like on his arm. Um, Cody had it around his waist, and Jericho had it on both of his arms. Dustin has none. Maybe because he has no accessories. But whatever. Hopefully this figure doesn't have the same problem that a lot of people had with Series 1, where just from touching it, like I was doing, moving the joints around, the paint rubs off. Hopefully I don't have that issue with, uh, with Dustin here. Now for one last comparison, here he is with Cody from Series 1. So you see what I mean? Dustin looks like a giant compared to Cody. Like, Dustin is not this tall, so that is probably my biggest complaint with this figure. So that's really a shame. But they do look great together, they look awesome. And also for a couple more comparisons, here he is with Kenny Omega. And the champion, Chris Jericho. So there's all my AEW figures I have so far. Hoping to get more soon. As soon as my uh, back order from early January ships out, I'll be getting Moxley and MJF. Which I can't wait for those. So, so final thoughts. This is an excellent figure. Definitely a hidden gem in series two it's a very underrated like i said everybody talks about moxley and mjf and you know but not many people talk about uh, about talk about this dustin figure and it is a great figure my only complaints with it is the very limited um articulation in some of his uh, joints especially his legs and of course he's way too tall he's way too tall but aside from that it's a great figure so i would say if you can find this figure for a good price online or if you're lucky enough to find it in the store because i know some people have been finding series two in stores so if you can find him in store or possibly get him online for a good price, definitely pick him up. He's definitely one of the best figures they've made so far in the Unrivaled collection. Excellent figure. So I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. Like I said, my only complaint is the limited posability and a couple of his joints. And of course, he's way too tall. Aside from that great figure, I mean, I don't mind that he didn't come with uh, any accessories. I do wish he kind of came with his jacket, but because of the paint deco and everything, it probably cost a lot of money, so he couldn't afford to put a jacket in there. Anyway, so solid 8.5 out of 10, so definitely pick him up if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check those out. Links down below. You can catch me just about every Friday and Saturday on the Crash and Burn Wrestling Podcast. Link to our channel is down below. It, it,
make sure to pick up your official Kyle Riker merch on my store on bonfire.com, link down below. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you, so you never miss an upload. I, I upload new reviews every single Saturday right here on this channel, so stay tuned for more reviews. Anyways, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.